Hello, I am excited about today's project. I saw it about a year ago and I thought it was really cool looking. So I'm excited that we get to do it today. What our project is, is it's creating four different folk art trees. And as you have seen, folk art means that you um, get to add really fun, whimsical detail and maybe not be stuck with what reality is. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make one long, sort of skinny um, tree trunk with my Sharpie. And I think for this one, I am going to make, let's see, he looks pretty skinny. I'm gonna make him more of like a Christmas tree and have his needles poking out. So we are gonna do four different trees you can do them, your imagination is the only limit. I would like four. And we are going to use our watercolors after we create their bases. So I'm gonna fill in this trunk so it looks more like a tree. And then I'm gonna move on to my next tree. I've created my second tree that's a little bit of a curly cue craziness. And I'm now going to widen the trunk so this tree can, in fact, support itself. Here's my third tree. It could be the star tree, or maybe it's those little spike balls, and all the leaves will come. We'll, we'll put them on with our watercolors shortly. And then I think my last tree is going to be one of these crazy zigzag ones that look pretty fun. So it's gonna be tall and skinny so I can squeeze it on the page. And then I'm gonna go back and forth. There we go. I'll make this trunk a little bit wider and then I'll get out our watercolors. All right, so I've created my four trees. I have my water here and I have my paints. So what I'm going to do is get my paintbrush and get it super duper wet. And I am going to paint on the leaves of my trees. So I think these, the star tree is gonna look a little bit more like a Dr. Seuss tree. So I'm going to have these stars be sort of like little bubbles of blue. So we're gonna do this with all four of our trees. You can make them whatever color you want for your leaves. You can have them touch so the colors bleed together. You can have them not touch so the colors stay nice and separate. It is your call. Um, I'm hoping we can figure out how um, to share these on Flipgrid soon, but have lots of fun with your four awesome creations, and I look forward to seeing them. All right, good luck.